title of the project is Steel Drums, Not Guns. So it's about choices. They made choices in Trinidad. They were a slave economy. They fed their slaves to South America. We were a slave economy. And we fed our slaves to North America. The slavery situation over here came to an end in, in 1865 with the Emancipation Proclamation, but it didn't change the way people were looked at. It did not change the way people saw color. In Trinidad, it changed the way people saw color. The music is what changed it. The development of the steel drum is what changed it. The fact that they had a carnival is what changed it. And now, today, present time, they don't see color. Do they have economic slavery? Yes. It exists all over the world. But we still have a color racism as opposed to a economic racism. Rudolf Charles, he really was the father of, of modern pan. He saw in the steel drum, which was developed out of, an, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. The Americans in the 30s left a whole bunch of unused oil barrels in Trinidad. These kids used to go up to the yards where they were left and play, in, and play with these oil barrels. And then somebody turned one over and hit it with a rock or hit it with a stick and it started to sound like music. And from that point on, Steel Drums was born. And Rudolph saw in this competition that the kids were having on a local level, a way to bring the whole community of Trinidad together behind one competition that culminated in the, the bands competing on a nationwide level at Carnival and it would be something that would take place the competition throughout the whole year so that you would go through various competitions until you finally got to the uh, championship competition. It took the kids off the streets. It literally dissolved the need for, for delinquency. That's not to say that there's not crime that goes on in Trinidad, but it, it, uh, it doesn't germinate from, from the kids, from the teenagers, because they were given something to do and they were given an identity. The identity was that of the steel drum, which is the only instrument in the world that's been invented since the uh, beginning of the 20th century.